it is time for a nice and beautiful tree run. Let's start off with this magic tree. 220,000 experience. And here is the last one, and we got level 83 farming. Now I think what I can do is eat this garden pie. You get level 86 farming, and then from 85 and on you can enter the hard uh, part. Awesome, the high level tier. 80 points, we're getting close to 30k. And now I'm going to plant a Celestris tree here, because this is needed for a achievement diary task, and that is the next thing that I want to focus on. I did some calculations, and if I do every single diary in all the regions that I got unlocked, I got so many experience lamps that I got 7.2 mil of experience in the skill of choice. So if I put this all on agility, I will be like level 93 or something, so that is what I will be doing. We just did another birdhouse run, very close to 64 uh, hunter. Before I'm gonna do all the diaries, I wanna make sure I have all the requirements, and I noticed that for almost every diary, some kind of seed is involved that I don't have yet, like a palm seed or calcat seed or belladonna seed, there's so many things. Um, so let me actually go and collect these first and then do all the diaries. In the meantime, I'm doing some AFK Slayer, which is perfectly fine with the Bulwark and the Blood Fury and just all the relics. Yeah. Ooh, a Bloodthirsty Hydra. That's more like it. I'm even ignoring the Lightning. I don't care. Just kill the Hydra. That's all we need to do. 220k XP for that. Okay, so a couple things here. We got a Brimstone Key. I think that's the first one on the account. And we got level 96 Slayer. I completely missed that. Oh! A second brimstone key, thank you. Well, what do you know? A belladonna seed from a hydra. The last thing you would expect to need from this creature, but this is actually needed for the Lumbridge Diaries. Wow, how lucky. And there is another. Oh, what? A Miss Battle Staff. Wow. And a raw shark. 78. Wow, what a weird drop. I honestly thought I had already bought a herb sack, but apparently I haven't, so let's go and do it. We did another birdhouse run, and we got level 65 hunter now. And there's another big boy down. Wow, Dragon Throne Axe. Okay. First time I'm not getting the blood thirsty one. Still 138k XP. Level 97 Slayer incoming. Yep. And a Brimstone Key. Well, we can't really use it anymore, but we got another unique. Well, what do you know? I completed one farming contract. It was an easy task. That's so cute. So we have already finished the Hydra task, but I got a superior on the last kill. So then you can do another kill, which is going to give us some extra experience. We're 97 so far. And another 220k. A Hydra's Fang Dust Battle Staff drops all over the place. <laughs> wow. My next task is to kill Abyssal Demons in the Catacombs of Koran. That's nice because I still need to collect Totem Pieces to kill Scotizo. I am getting loads of Totem Pieces and also an Abyssal Whip. Cool. Honestly, this place is so much better than the other one. And now that I think about it, if I use my Bulwark Special Attack, I aggro all the Abyssal Demons in the area, which makes it even better. And my Thrall is also hitting all of them at once. This is a perfect combination. We are about to end this Abyssal Demon task, and what is kind of weird about this is that I'm not sure if, it is, if this is supposed to happen, but I got two Dark Totem Middles, and normally you get them in order, right? The base, the middle, and the top, but I feel like with um, the Superior Relic, you can get multiple pieces at the same time, and maybe it kind of glitched out, so you got two of the same. I have no idea. Anyways, task is completed, let's get a new one. We got 50 blue dragons, but let's actually do this because they drop a lot of blue dragon skills and I need this for my Herblore training. We're about to kill the final blue dragon of the task. And uh, we got uh, two scaly, uh, three scaly blue dragon hides, that's great for Herblore experience. We're also getting very close to 99 Slayer, I think next task that will happen. Alright, 161 gargoyles, perfect task. Hey, I just completed my farming contract and I got some mushroom spores, but this is also needed for diaries. Perfect. Let's go and kill some grotesque guardians. Well, that wasn't too hard. Hey, grotesque guardian speedrunner. Yo, level 99 slayer. Here it is. I wasn't even paying attention to it. 
So even though we are level 99 Slayer now and I can't claim the Slayer cape, I will not do it out of respect for my Slayer drop locked account. Because if you think about it, I've been playing for 3 years on that account to get the Slayer cape, I've never had it before in my life. And wearing the Slayer cape now during the league will remove that special feeling. I want it to be truly special when I get the cape on Slayer drop lock, so we're not buying it here. We got 7 brimstone keys, let's see if we can get some palm seeds that we need for the Karamja diary, so let's see. Well, that wasn't perfect, but it's something. Level 67 hunter. Okay, that's randomly a task. Dismantle 20 filled birdhouses. Cool. I wonder, is this a task? Yeah, it is. 80 points for equipping a missed battle staff. I've decided to train some hunter levels a bit manually, and uh, here we go for level 70. That should also be a task, exactly. Base level 70. Alright then, so we trained some more hunter and we got level 80 now, which means I can now do herbivores. Let's see if that's actually a good method to continue training. Okay, honestly guys, this is amazing. I'm gonna call it Herbie More. This is amazing because it's great experience, just check this out. 31,000 hunter XP for finding it. We also get herbler experience right away and we fill up... Um, herbs in the patch i mean in the in the herb sack so this is great in the meantime while doing herbivore i am also doing the birdhouses beautiful and 85 hunter as well and there's level 90 hunter and 2200 total level yeah epic let's go and get some more farming experience we got a magic tree right here it's gonna give us 220k 84 level 85 and a task. I didn't even know that. And here we got another magic tree, but I'm not going to chop this down uh, yet. Because I need to get level 91 farming and uh, get uh, three magic roots for a Falador Elite task. Level 86 farming and level 87 farming. Oh, this is simply perfect. We got the palm tree seeds from the farming contract. That's great because we need this for a task as well. And there's level 93 hunter. Oh, this is just beautiful. I got a Calcat tree seed from the mole part that I uh, traded with Winston. Or, sorry, it's Wyson. Awesome. We need to do a Scottizo kill for the Koran Diaries, but we got four totems, so let's just use all of them and see if we can get any drops. We are completely destroying Scottizo without even trying. I got a lot of tasks completed in one. In one. <laughs> Second kill. What do we get? Oh, the Dark Claw. So that means we can uh, make a new Slayer Helm with this. Once again, Mahogany Planks, Ancient Shard, and a Clue Scroll. And here is the final kill. That is not too great. So I don't know if this is gonna work, but I basically joined a game that is about to finish. Oh my god, this is the luckiest thing ever. I joined for a minute, and we won that. And we... Oh wait, we lost, I think? No, we lost. That's, that's okay, but I won because I got the diary done. This is such a brutal way to get the Skull Scepter, but I, I basically just used the Special Attack of the Bulwark and the whole pack dies. Oh, there's a Glue Scroll as well. Hey, there it is. So all the fossils that I collected from the Herbivore hunting, I've used now at the museum and I got a bunch of XP lambs. I'm going to put that all on agility. Let's see what level we can get from 76. I used up all the lamps and we got 80, almost 81. Rage base level 80 as well. Sick. So, I've been grinding out some nice golden nuggets for a while. We got 175 and 180 are needed to buy the full Prospector gear. Now, there is a bug going on that if you put a full inventory of pay dirt into the hopper at once, then the max amount of golden nuggets you can get is only 3. That is not right. If you drop a couple pay dirt and put it in separately, you can get way more. I've had some inventories where I got like 10 golden nuggets at the same time. So if you still have to do this, then make sure to do this because I'm not sure if they are going to fix this. So basically what I do is I drop the entire inventory except for three um, pay dirt. And I literally just put it in per three. So I, the only annoying thing about this is that you have to wait until the pay dirt reaches the end. You'll get way more nuggets this way. Okay, we got two pay dirt left. Let's put that in and run to the uh, sack. And let's see how much we got in total. Alright. 
only four this time. Well, that's a bummer. That's that's like I feel like stupid now that I don't have 180. It's only four instead of three, but <laughs> at least it's more than three. Okay, I literally just mined six pay dirt. So let's see how many we got. Two. Well, that's not bad. We buy the helmet, jacket, legs, and boots. Equip the whole bunch. And we got a task for it. Now for the Falador Diaries, we had to enter the mining guild with the full prospector gear. So that is now completed. And since we have done a lot of star mining AFK, I can buy some cool stuff from the store right here. I think Dusori is the, is the one. Yeah, can we trade? Of course. Okay, so I'm buying the Celestial Ring. And I am also going to buy three star fragments. I don't have enough for the full set, but that's okay. And that's another task. Yeah. Just to be sure, I am going to pay this guy eight poison ivy berries. Because I only had one Calcat seed. And I don't want this to fail. We are now about to get level 88 farming. And now if I clear this tree. It should, yeah exactly, give us a hard task. Now this one is a bit tricky. I have to dig up three magic roots. And for that you need 91 farming. So I can boost it by three levels. But if I lose the boost while I am digging these up. Then I will not get it. I do have one more magic sapling in the bank. So if it goes wrong I can do it again. But let's just hope it will be okay. We chopped it down. I eat a garden pie. And immediately dig it up. And uh, yes we got it. Yes that's great. And also a task. Alright, I've done some AFK Silius Sap woodcutting and I think I have enough fossils now to get the kudos that I need for the Varrock Diaries, but let's first check it out. I got just enough fossils to get 154 kudos, we need 153 for the Diaries. Let's put the lamps on agility again and see what level we get. Level 83. So I'm doing some star mining once again and uh, now that I'm mining here anyways I bought myself the final piece of the prospector set, the golden one. But I did not know it was a task, but here we go, 200 points. This star is about to go down, but we're so close to 96. I'm just gonna mine some rocks here quickly to get level 96. Here we go, level 96 mining, only 3 levels to go. Okay, so this little part in the video is actually not going to be live commentary. The clips you see right now on screen are clips of me doing raids with my friends together at a LAN party. We decided to meet up and do some leagues together and also some things outside of the leagues. But uh, I had a blast doing this. I still need a lot of uniques from Chambers of Zarek like the Twisted Bow, Dragon Claws, Ancestral Pieces. And for my friends it was also nice because they just started doing raids. So any unique they would get would be new for their collection. Now I gotta say that the look was a little bit on the wrong side here. Because I kept getting dupes of for example the Dragon Hunter Crossbow that I didn't really need. While my friends were really really hoping for getting a drop like that. And all they could get was like an arcane scroll. Now I gotta say I got one too. So yeah kinda sucks as well. But you know it is what it is. Now one drop really made me happy though because I actually managed to get a new unique being the Dragon Claws. I really hate that I don't have a live reaction for this but I was so excited for this and my friends as well. I mean with a melee build having this weapon now is absolutely crazy and I can't wait to try out some new strategies with the special attack relic. And to end off the evening I got one more drop being a dupe ancestral rope top. And now it's time to get back into skilling. It is not my favorite skill, but in leagues it is not too bad. We got 99 mining. We're finally done with this skill. Let's move on and do some fishing now. Okay, so I ended up not doing just some fishing, but all the fishing I need for level 99. Here we go. We got 838 raw anglers and almost 4k karam ones as well. This is, I think, all I need for the rest of the league. In order to complete all the elite diaries, I'm gonna have to complete some quests, so let's go and do them all and then we can do the diaries. That is Black Knight's Fortress complete. And there is another quest, Recruitment Drive complete. Which is how it's done. Okay, Mr. Glaude, let's see how quickly we can finish you. Well, that was pretty quick. <laughs> we are gonna get a bunch of experience now. All this experience times 16. And we got a agility level for that. Not bad. And there's the quest, a soul's bane completed and that's also a league task. Here we go, Shades of Morton also completed. That means we've now done all the quests we needed to. We can finally finish all the diaries. 
Well, what do we have here? A gout tuber. Let's dig it up. Awesome. Okay, we make 56 nature runes, and that is the very last cramjet task. We've now done every single tier. Let's claim the rewards. We use everything on agility. First lamp gives us 80k experience. The second lamp gives 160k. And the last lamp gives 800,000 experience. All the Lumbi tasks have been completed as well, so let's also put the XP on agility. And we're level 90 already. I'm about to assassinate this gang boss. Prayers on. Let's go! <laughs> the whole group drop dead. And here is all the Korand tasks completed as well. 92 agility. And there is the Moratania diary completed. Palador Diary also complete and after using all the XP lamps we got 95 agility and now there's only one more diary to go. Ah, we're finally claiming the last diary rewards. It was a bit more annoying than I thought it would be but still, nothing beats getting uh, this fast agility experience. Let's use it all and we are probably going to end up at level 96. One lamp to go. Exactly, 96 and a half. Alright, since we are training agility anyways, I decided to get 110 tickets from the uh, Brimhaven Arena. Because if I trade in 100 at the same time, it's going to give me league points. So let's go and do that. Here we go. That is 800, like, actually like 900,000 experience right there. 97 agility. And with the remaining 10 tickets, I will buy a Snapdragon. And that is also going to give us a task. I can't believe that I'm doing this. Even in leagues, this is taking terribly long. But uh, we're almost there, level 99 agility. I'm doing this also to get the graceful outfit, but that is going to take uh, like more than 100 marks still. But anyways, we got 99 agility, that is enough for now. The next goal is 99 herblore, and according to my runelight helper, I have 650k XP banked. That's in the normal game, so if you do that times 16 then it should be pretty easy to get level 99. The only problem is that I don't have enough secondaries to make all the potions, so I'm just gonna make all that I can do, and then I will just collect some more, I guess. Alright, it took a while, but I'm back again, and look at all the supplies that I have collected. Let's train some Herblore and see how many levels we can get. Well, my friends, guess what? We have enough supplies to get level 99 Herblore. Yes, and also 2250 total level. Awesome. Only three more skills to go. Hunter, smithing, and farming. Catch 150 herbivores was 200 points. Wow. Two and a half hours later, we made it to the end of the hunter grind, and we are also level 99 now. Yeah. That's only two levels to go. I mean, two skills. Thanks, dude. Let me claim some free experience immediately. I got the mahogany trees and teak trees that I planted before, so let's see how much XP that's gonna be. 250k, another 250k, and 116k, 90 farming. So the next skill that I wanna train to 99 is smithing, and for this I'm gonna buy coal from the Tazar store, because I think this is the fastest way to get it. I have a lot of mithril ore in the bank already, and hopefully that will be enough to get level 99. But it's going to take a while to buy all the stuff. Of course, I don't have fire seals, so these are the parts where I'm really going to feel that. But it's fine. Let's go for it. All right, we managed to buy about 7,000 coal. Now, before we're going to start smelting these, I also have like 10,000 silver ore in the bank. So let's go and start off with that first. And then see what level we can get by smelting all these ores and my mithril ore. Well, I gotta say... That is some great smithing experience from just the steel bars. I mean the silver bars in my bank. Two and a half mil. We are now 94 smithing, almost 95, and we've got 2.7k mithril bars. Let's go for 99. We used up all the bars and we ended up with 97 smithing, so I'm gonna have to buy some more coal, but not too much more. All right then, I bought some more ores and made some more bars, and this is the last inventory that we gotta do for yet another 99. Smithing, only one skill to go for the Magscape, yes. I just got by farming to level 92, um, and I got 1000 points for that, so I bought the seed box for 250 points, but the only thing I can buy now is herb boxes, I think. 
But if I don't spend the points, then I will not get any more from the minigame. So let's just go and buy all these herb boxes. So we collected 400 more fruits. Let's see how many levels this is going to give us. That is level 93. Level 94. Almost level 95. And there it is, 95. And we got a task, reach base level 95. We got 400 more fruits. Let's see if we can get 98 maybe with this. Let's see, that's 96, 97, and we're very close to 98. Once again, 200 more fruits, and these will probably be the last ones. So let's deposit the first 100, that's 567k, and now another 100. And we are missing 146k XP, but I can still do a Hespori kill, and that should give me enough experience to get level 99. Weed Whacker? Not sure what this is, but... Alright. Alright, well, there we go. Completed the kill. That was still pretty slow, 47 seconds. Then it's now finally time to clear the Hespori and get level 99 farming and all stats level 99. 200,000 farming XP. Reach total level of 2277. 400 points for that and also 200 points for level 99 farming. This is amazing. Max total. Oh, and I didn't even see it, but I actually got the bottomless compost bucket from the first Hespori kill. What? Okay. I didn't even notice it because of all the level ups. Okay, so in order to get the max cape, I have to get some more cash. It requires 2.3 mil almost. So let me elk on the dupes that I got from Barrows because I don't really need those anyway. So let's go. Ah, we finally made it to Mr. Mac. Can I have your cape, please? Maybe. <laughs> It feels unreal because I've never had a max cape in my life before. And even though it's leagues, it's still pretty cool to have it. Only for just uh, a little while. But uh, it is amazing. Let's actually combine it with my fire cape. I should be able to do this, right? Yes, combine the item and lose it. That's totally fine. And we got the fire max cape. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so now that we got all skills at level 99, I reached the max cape. And this was one of my biggest goals for the leagues. Now, of course, I'm not done yet because I want to go for the dragon rank and we are currently only adamant. We got 37.8k points and we need 56,000 for the dragon rank. So we still have to do a lot of things, but there's no skills that are in the way anymore. I can just go for whatever task I want now and uh, go for these points. But I do want to prioritize my Slayer drop locked again from now on because I still have a big goal for getting level 99 Slayer on that account. So in the upcoming four weeks, I think the leagues is still here. I will still be playing on this account, but a little bit more on the background and the focus is going to be more on Slayer drop locked again. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that. But anyways, I will keep grinding and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.